We're going to use ultrasound to give the patient a better shape and a more reliable result. That really increases the trust that patients have in the procedure, in their results, in ultrasound, and in myself. My name is Pat Pasmino. I'm a board certified plastic surgeon. I've been in private practice here in Miami, Florida for 19 years. My practice focuses on body contouring, breast surgery, and minimally invasive facial procedures. My journey in ultrasound began nine years ago. That's when I began trying to incorporate this into my plastic surgery procedures and in my clinic. I thought that it would be very interesting to go ahead and see what's actually going on underneath the skin. As plastic surgeons, we focus on the skin and the subcutaneous area. And I thought that by visualizing what these structures are, we could manipulate them and get better results. Over the last four to five years, we've seen a remarkable evolution in the technology of ultrasound. Beforehand, ultrasounds were very big, very expensive, and they had cables. Now, ultrasounds are much more affordable, they're very small, they're easy to use because of artificial intelligence, and best of all, they're wireless. So the fact that they're wireless makes them extremely easy to use in the clinic and the operating room. And in the operating room, we can put this in a sterile pouch and be completely wire free. This is so convenient, it's even smaller than my iPhone. I use ultrasound in my practice every day, whether it's in the clinic or in the operating room. In the clinic, I use it to manage patients before and after surgery. So before surgery, I can see how thick their fatty layer is, and it helps me plan the procedure with the patient. After surgery, I can assess the survival of the fat graft that I placed. I can also look for seromas, and uh, it's essential also in breast implant patients because I can see whether the implants are intact before surgery and it allows me to plan the best technique for that patient. I've used Clarius now for three years. This is now the third generation device. These models get smaller and smaller, more and more comfortable and ergonomic. And what I enjoy about this is that I can slip this into my pocket and with my iPhone, I have a complete ultrasound system. So when I go from clinic room to clinic room, if I have a patient with a seroma, I can easily go ahead and use MSK mode. If I have a breast patient, I have a specific mode for that as well. What I think is so convenient about Clarius is that you can go into the specific mode for that patient and that scenario. That allows me to not worry so much about the image and focus on my patient. I think one of the best things about the third generation Clarius is its form factor. It's very small, so it's extremely comfortable to go ahead and use in either hand. That's very important because in the operating room, we often use it in our non-dominant hand. But also, it is wireless. So this allows me to completely place it into a sterile pouch and not have to deal with cables. I think that's a huge advantage over other ultrasound systems that have cables or wires that you're always wrestling with. I practice plastic surgery in Miami, and South Florida is the mecca for body contouring, including the Brazilian butt lift. Even though we do the most procedures, unfortunately, we've had the most complications and the most deaths. And because of this, our community and the state of Florida has now passed an emergency rule making it necessary for every plastic surgeon who performs Brazilian butt lift to do it with ultrasound and to have a video of that procedure. I think that that is really going to help patients and it will improve safety. I think that surgeons should look at this in two ways. That number one, the ultrasound video will help them prove that they are doing the operation correctly as they already are. But an even bigger advantage for surgeons is that ultrasound allows the surgeon to be able to fine tune the procedure. For the first time, we can now see where every single drop of fat graft is going to go. And this gives us unparalleled control in the way that we shape and the way that we sculpt our patients. I think it's an exciting time for surgeons to go ahead and give them a tool that will help prove that they perform the procedure safely and the same tool can make them an efficient and a better sculptor. One of the biggest concerns patients have when they come in is not just about the procedure, the Brazilian butt lift, but also the safety of the procedure. Because patients are very aware of the problems and the unfortunate deaths that have happened. 
So when I talk to patients and I explain to them that we're going to use ultrasound to literally see exactly where we are underneath the skin, we're going to use ultrasound to prove that we did not put any fat inside the muscle. We're going to use ultrasound to give the patient a better shape and more consistent a more reliable result that really increases the trust that patients have in the procedure, in their results, in ultrasound, and in myself.